Hello learners, this is Teacher Vin. In today's lesson, we will talk about expanded definition. One of the duties of a research writer is to offer definition for words that may be difficult for readers to understand. All definitions make an attempt to explain or clarify a concept in order to improve comprehension. For some good examples of expanded definition in writing, watch this video. A term that is not widely understood is frequently defined using a parenthetical definition, that is, a brief explanation enclosed in parentheses after the term. Let's take a look at the following examples. Pitecophaga jeffrey, which is endemic to forests in the Philippines, is the world's largest eagle species. Another example, the Mindoro dwarf buffalo is a small hoofed mammal belonging to the family Bobidae. In the examples, the informal definitions took the shape of a synonym and a phrase. Usually, it is simply a few extra words that describe the term. When a parenthetical definition is insufficient, a more detailed definition is required. In this case, we can employ sentence definition. What is a sentence definition? Sentence definition is a one-sentence explanation of a word or term. For example, an electron microscope is a microscope that uses electron rather than visible light to produce magnified images. In the example, we present a one-sentence description of how an electron microscope differs from a normal microscope. Defining a sentence isn't always necessary. However, there are certain complicated topics that cannot be fully explained in a single statement. As a result, we employ the expanded definition of the word. You might wonder what an extended definition is. An expanded definition is a detailed definition of an object, mechanism, process, or concept. Take note, the word detailed is the important term here. An expanded definition usually consists of two or more sentences. In technical writing, expanded definition is quite common. It is also prevalent in areas such as science, mathematics, and social studies. So, how do we come up with a more detailed definition of a term? An extended definition nearly always begins with a sentence definition and then expand on it by offering extra sentences. Let's look at an example of extended definition. Pneumono ultramicroscopic silico volcano coniosis is a disease of the lungs, usually caused by breathing in dust. Those who suffer from this illness often live near volcanoes and inhale volcanic ash. This illness can cause coughing and difficulty breathing. Treatment usually focuses on the symptoms and can include taking cough syrup and antibiotics. Doctors also suggest that patients move away from the source of the ash. Notice that the sample paragraph started with a sentence definition but then include an explanation of the causes, effects, and treatments of the disease. Some words are too complex to be defined in a paragraph. If you need to write more than one paragraph, consider using one or a combination of the following techniques to help expand the definition of your word. Let's take a look on the following techniques. First on our list is etymology. Etymology explains the origin of the word itself. For example, the term millennial was coined by Neil Howe and William Strauss, author of the 1991 book Generations, The History of America's Future, 1584 to 2069. Another technique is through description. Description expresses the quality, kind, or condition of what is denoted by the modified term. For example, Anyone born between 1981 and 1996 is considered a millennial. Millennial grew up with computers, the internet, and the graphical user interface. This familiarity makes them adept at understanding interfaces and visual languages. We can also use process narration in expanding definition. Process narration explains how the term is used. For example, 
Population screening is the process of assessing the prevalence of a particular trait in the entire population or in a subgroup of the population. Meanwhile, causation explains the causes and effects of the term. Let's take a look on this example. Millennials came of age with the internet and smartphones. So there's a little surprise that they are defined as a highly connected, plugged-in, and mobile generation. We can also provide examples of the term. We call it exemplification. Example. Millennials are broadly classified as individuals born between around the mid-1980s to 2000, and they are currently between 25 and 40 years old. We can also put the term being defined in a category. We call it classification. Classification shows how the topic or the term fits into a larger category. For example, baby boomers were born between 1946 and 1964. They are currently between 57 to 75 years old. Gen X was born between 1965 and 1979 and is currently between 41 to 56 years old. Gen Y, or Millennials, were born between 1981 and 1994. They are currently between 25 and 40 years old. Gen Z is the newest generation, born between 1997 and 2012. They are currently between 9 and 24 years old. We can also use comparison and contrast to show how the topic is similar or different from others in the class. Here is our example. Generation Z was born in 1995 and 2012, while Millennials were born between 1981 and 1996. In 2019, the oldest Millennials are turning 40, which means that they find themselves now entering into adult life, while Gen Z is now rising. This generation is just turning 26 this year, and most are still in their teens or younger. And lastly on our technique is analogy. Analogy explains by comparing two dissimilar topics where the second is familiar to the audience. If millennials are called Generation Y, I Generation is called Generation Z, but they are both exposed to the internet and social media. Remember, expanded definitions are usually located in the introductory material of a document because the information is needed before the audience can understand the subject matter of the document.